What's up, everybody? Tindo here. That there's Hannah Warrior Princess. I didn't even point at you. I was like, Hannah Warrior Princess. <laughs> Check this out. Here's what we're going to do today. She's got a bunch of packages. She's got to get packaged up, sent out. She sold a bunch of jeans. She's been making, kind of hand making some special jeans and they've been selling really well. We've mentioned them on the channel before, but it's been a little bit wild. So while she gets stuff shipped, I'm going to go outside and start working on the van. We're going to get some more work done in our camper van today. Get it ready for some road tripping we want to do. And then after all that's done, Let's do a little thrifting, all right? So stick around. Hello, Miss Hannah. Hi. Can I help you sew? No. Please? No. Why? Because it's hard. I will eat your ponytail. No. <laughs> kind of interested to see how today goes. We did a lot of work on the band yesterday, getting this wall installed, making this look good and it was just a beautiful day yesterday it was like 20 degrees lower than usual and as far as the temperature goes today it's not even high noon yet and it's pretty hot it's pretty near unbearable but we're so close to having this van ready to go this wall needs to be done the floor needs to be done so i think i'm gonna gut this so we can replace it with the white boards like this and then uh, whether or not we'll get to the floor after that, I don't know, but there's always tomorrow. But right now we're gonna do some gutting. So where's my screw gun? I brought my screw gun, but I didn't bring batteries, BRB. First things first, before we really jump into the deconstruction of this wall, I got the fan running today. It honestly helps quite a bit. It keeps it pretty cool in here when there's a breeze flowing through. But the reason that I haven't had it running is A, this knob, uh, I had to order a new one. And it's the knob what opens the door on top. So once I actually got in there to replace it, it actually turns out that not only was the knob missing, but one of the bolts holding the knob mechanism on, uh, the thing that the knob turns was broken. So I put a new screw in that to hold it together. So the fan's pretty much perfect except for I've got to build out this box right here and make these lines clean and just make that look nice and normal so you don't see insulation stuff. But I'm going to save that for last. We're going to get that wall done now. Let's do it. Let's get these old rustic wood panels off. shorts tucked in there i've explained this before but just once again the person i bought this from his choice to insulate this was blankets and clothing and bags of foam his choice not mine but i'm going to take it all out and actually put in some proper insulation hard work but another wall down the cabin is just about complete Whew, it's been a long time coming uh, I did a better job on this side than I did on that side kind of learned a couple things predominantly how to get started up top here kind of kind of didn't get that quite right but now that I know I can actually fix that one go a couple more door panels looking good fully boxed in bam with a dirty camera look at these glasses they're dirty too but it pretty much leaves the floor and baby once that floor is done it's practically done all the inside stuff the cabinetry and the bed and stuff that's a day's worth of work we're almost there all right now that i'm good and properly dirty let's go thrifting i'm just kidding i'm gonna go take a shower then we gotta go to the post office and then we'll hit the thrift store. Stick around, it's gonna be good. All right, we're about ready to go to the thrift store. Before we do, we gotta drop off those packages. Oh, look, let's drop these packages off here at the post office and then we'll go to the thrift store. All right, we are at the old Goodwill. I'm not honestly sure how much Goodwilling we're gonna get in today. I'm 
awfully tired from the van work, but we're gonna get a couple in at least, so stick around. Lol. Oh look, the shot glasses too are on lanyards. Just in case you need to keep your shot glass with you at all times. At first glance, it doesn't much look like we came on a good day, but then Ghostbusters. And then there is, where did I, I just saw it, my eyeballs just saw it. Where are you? Donkey Kong, let's go. And then this big box, Call of Duty. I definitely want the big box. Gotta double check the rest of this. But already, that's a that's a great start. Oh, look at the Papo cookie jar. He's so cute. I like it. But, I mean, do you keep real cookies in there or do you keep dog cookies in there? Because I feel like that's more of a treat jar than a cookie jar. Also, here is an Elder Scrolls that I don't have, so I'll probably grab that. And then, some anime DVDs. I don't know this anime, but it's a big box set that's complete. I'll probably get it from my toy booth. This would be a really cute recycled candle. It's only a dollar, but that is a ton of candle wax I would need. That's a big candle. This one would be cute too. It's from Ross. Wait. $2.99. They want $3.49. That's more than it was new. Missed the boat on that one. Is that what I think it is? <laughs> Let's go. I mean, it's plastic and I mean, it's kind of cheap, but like, that's wild. That's beautiful. Little blue cornflower coffee pot. Eh, $5 is a little too much for that. Ew. That was dirty. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna leave that there. So I grabbed a dragon sword, which is cool. I haven't sold the one sitting in my booth right now yet. I have sold one before. So I'll grab this one and put it in my other booth. And then look at the sheep from Toy Story, Bo Peep Sheep. Let's go. Here's a big rip, Donkey Kong. But I do have it, I do have it at home. So we'll see if they'll let us get out of here with it. Fight of the day, fight of the week, don't care. That's so cool. I like your dragon sword. Thanks. All right, next up, we've been going to this Goodwill a lot. I can't tell you how many pops we found at this Goodwill over the last few weeks, like 20, 30, $40 pops. And I bought a bunch of video games. So I like coming here. There's a bunch of Pyrex here. I haven't looked at it yet because I know I'm about to be disappointed, but we're gonna discover this together. We're gonna do this. My moral support is here. It's you guys. All right, first little wheat. Yep, nope, can't do it. It's a bummer. This Goodwill's notorious for it. It's yellow bowl and dang it. That one's 6.49. Dag gum. Okay. Some corningware. Uh, probably not. Yeah, no, can't do that either. That's not bad. Hmm, this isn't a super popular dish by any means. I've already got it and it's sitting in my toy, my, my dish booth, not my toy booth. Ooh, the bread pan's up here too. That's sitting in my dish booth as well. Because that one's supposed to have a lid. The bread pan doesn't. Five bucks is too much for it. The bread pan is only worth 15. I knew that was about to happen. This good was not great for those collectible dishes that I get. They're always expensive. So that last stop, they did give us that empty Donkey Kong case for a dollar. They threw a fit about it. They're like, ah, oh, we're not supposed to do this. I only bring it up because it comes up all the time. People ask, why didn't you ask for that case? And usually we just don't because it's so hard. But I really wanted that when we asked. They gave it to us for a dollar after a bit of a fight. Uh, but I say that now because I was here last time and a bunch of cool games were here, but the cases were empty and they wouldn't give them to me. Like, here we go. I tried to get that case last time. And they said, no, it's funny. It's still here. Uh, but this looks dope. I don't have this pulse racer. And it's sealed, no way. No, it's not, it's just taped. Okay, but I popped it open, it's in there, so that's awesome. 7.9, they've been looking games up here, I guess. What is this? Lol, 
sealed. Holy Guardian service wear. This thing is a chonker. That's kind of expensive though. Wow. I'm not gonna get it, but I really like it. I really like Guardian service wear. Those and club pans are my favorite to collect. They're just good quality pans. They're, they're great. I came running because I saw a super cheap Beyblade arena. You always gotta check, make sure there's no Beyblades in them. But 249, I'm definitely buying this. Check out these coasters. These are neat. Individually priced though, so we're not getting them, but they're really cool. I wonder how they made them, if they're like recycled glass. I found the Beyblade that were supposed to be in that arena. I knew there would be some. And that's why you gotta look, hold on. Wait a minute. What? No way. Still in the package. Let's go. Let's go. <gasps> oh my gosh. This is Dallas's actual favorite Pokemon. I don't know how I don't get this. That's amazing. He might actually drink out of this. <laughs> I'm getting it. Oh, it's just that kind of day. I found this buried under a bunch of stuff laying over there. It was just piled up. Robbed. Robbed again. Well, I'm gonna leave with this case even if I have to pay for it, but maybe we'll get lucky twice in a row and get out with a cheap case. Come on. Dang it. Hello there. I have a gift for you. I saw it. <gasps> you, she's trying to hide it from me. I just saw it under your arm. I will actually, this, I don't drink coffee. <laughs> I've probably had two cups of coffee in the last 10 years. I drink one tonight because of that. <laughs> Seriously, it says Snorlax. I didn't even read it. I saw Snorlax. It says Snorlax is my favorite Pokemon. I don't care if that's worth a hundred dollars. I'm keeping it. Also, your nasty hair is on it. Ew. You're so gross. That's not mine. Who's? Uh, I don't know. It's not mine. <laughs> Today's a good day because look, one Minecraft torch. Two Minecraft torch. I actually use those to decorate my antique mall booths, so good find. There's a big stack of comic books here. Check out the Pink Ranger comic book. It's only a dollar, I'm definitely getting that. So we got out of there with that disc case for free, whereas the last one was a dollar something. And Hannah got out of here with it because when she got up to the line, the guy that was about to check her out was the guy that said no to the disc, the empty case last time. So she jumped over the other line and she got it. Also, I want to talk about this before we go. You're trying to outdo me, aren't you? <laughs> yesterday, she found one of the best finds ever. Go watch yesterday's episode if you don't know what I'm talking about. It was crazy, it was awesome. Day before that, I found all this cool stuff. I was like, I'm so cool, I'm the coolest person ever. She brings, she finds a Reptar plush, cooler than anything I brought home. And then I bought, I just, I found the coolest stuff today. I found like inbox Beyblades, but no, you find the coolest coffee mug I've ever seen in my I life. <laughs> All right, we're home and uh, we got a pretty interesting variety of things that we bought at the thrift store today. You only bought one thing though, huh? I did. It's small but mighty. It's probably the best thing we bought all week. Besides your pans yesterday? Yeah. I, I mean, what are the chances? Snorlax is my favorite Pokemon. It's not a lie. Big facts. Can't eat because Snorlax is Yeah, just that joke. You know, I wore my Applebee's shirt today, oh. and I can't tell if it makes me look bigger or smaller. Actually, I think it makes me look normal, because it's like a 5X, so it's normal size on me. Proper dad bod. We didn't go to Applebee's, though. We went to Hooters. <laughs> Smashed them, though. So, um, what else did we get? I guess everything else is just video games and then stuff for our toy booth. I did buy uh, a DVD box set of, and I have not even tried to read what this is, Dokoida, limited edition. Okay. Not an anime I'm familiar with. Uh, we're just gonna flip it, put it in our booth with some of the manga and other stuff we have that's been selling kind of okay. So comment below before, if you know anything about this, tell us if we should watch it before we flip it. Um, our toy booth that, uh, our first toy booth we opened here, I have lined the outer wall of it with these Minecraft torches. And I've been wanting to do it to my other one because my other booth actually kind of looks better now because more shelves, more yellow, more stuff. True. But it doesn't have Minecraft, which is like, it's my signature, the Minecraft torches. <laughs> and these were $2.50, or these were $2.50 a piece. So two of them for five is great. Because the last time I actually came across one at the Goodwill, 
It was like eight bucks. I was like, are you kidding me? I'm not paying that for it. Uh, so that's awesome. Lots of Beyblade stuff today. Well, I saw a Bay, uh, you weren't with me, so you wouldn't know this, but I saw a Beyblade Arena. I ran over to it. It was one of the super cheap plastic ones. There was nothing in it. I was like, you know, sometimes they'll throw Beyblades in it and then tape over it. So yeah. it'll stay in there. And I was like, oh, nope, none. But whoever donated that probably donated this stuff too. Um, you know, a wall bag. And it's got four or five Beyblades in it and a couple quality launchers. Uh, so that's pretty awesome. So just a handful of Beyblades. But to make matters even better, two inbox Beyblades. Never come across an inbox Beyblade at the Goodwill. It's pretty cool though because I guess these were a little bit cheaper, but new the like the, if you go to Walmart right now to buy a Beyblade, they're like 15 bucks. But they don't look this small. But at any rate, that's pretty cool. So that will be fun to hang up with the rest of my Beyblade stuff yeah. at the same toy booth that these are going to. So I'm happy about that. Um, I see dollar signs when I see Beyblade. <laughs> I think I was putting like $3 on them at first. They all sold. And then I put $5 on the second round. Every one of them sold. So maybe we're leaning towards 7 this time. I don't know. Uh, it, it's something I'm just nostalgic for. Is why I started buying them to resell them. I've kept the ones that I had for my childhood. But other than that, I've kind of been getting to where like I've been reading a little bit more about them and trying to differentiate the mechanisms that make the different generations of them because some of them are more valuable than others and I definitely want to start charging a little bit more for the right ones. But Hannah, what are the sheep's name? Billy, Goat, and Gruff. Billy, Goat, and Gruff or is it the other way? Do you know which is which? Uh, wait a minute, let me think. It's probably, me. probably left or right. Yeah, I think because whenever Bo Peep is so, standing, she starts outer. In. So Billy, Goat, and Gruff. Yeah. But you know, most of the Toy Story stuff I've thrown at our flea market booths is sold as well. So that was cool. It's two bucks. Uh, let's talk about the Power Ranger stuff. Woo! I've had one of these set here in the game room forever, uh, and I've still got mine. But I've got one of these in one of our flea market booths, and now I'll put this in the other. Um, I haven't sold anywhere near as many as those as the Megazord, but the same brand or whatever they make a giant Megazord. I've sold tons of those, but. Uh, I haven't sold as many of that, but I'm, I'm trying. I think the right person comes along and will buy them, but it was, a, it was a pretty good price. It was only six bucks. And I think I think the Megazord I've been selling for like 25 bucks, and I have sold maybe one of those, and it was maybe 15. So it wasn't the best deal in the world, but I kind of will overspend just a little bit sometimes to kind of, in our antique booths, have that staple stuff, have that shelf full of Power Ranger stuff, and keep gotta it. Gotta bring the clout. Yeah, you gotta, you gotta look like you know what you're doing. Um, okay, and then the other Power Ranger thing, I am a big, uh, one of the few things toy related that I collect is Power Ranger stuff, and I love my Power Rangers collection. I'm a member of a group, I don't even know what it's called on Facebook, it just kind of comes up in my feed sometimes, but it's like a Power Ranger club and it's just people collecting Power Ranger stuff, and they post pictures of the covers of these Power Ranger comics all the time, and I kind of get jealous because they often look so cool, and I think that looks so dope, especially since... Being a Power Ranger collection, collector, the, the the least amount of anything you'll ever have is Pink Ranger stuff. Do you yeah. know what I mean? You can't ever find the Pink Ranger Zord. You can't ever find the Pink Ranger this, that. So that's pretty cool. That would be neat on my Power Ranger shelf. So um, that, I was going to say maybe my find today. We'll talk about that in a minute because, are you serious? Link sword? I mean, it's just, it's, it's a cheap molded plastic, but it's kind of nice. It's painted very well to be such cheap plastic. Okay, I know the camera didn't hear this, but the second you pulled this sword out, your phone dinged. So I thought the sword dinged. So basically I'm the chosen one. <laughs> That's what you're trying to say. Because it was like unsheathed. Ding. We'll have to we'll have to play that back and see how it sounded. Um, that was awesome. And that's another perfect thing for my toy booth. I wish I could get 30 of these right now and have them on deck for the toy booth. That's uh, beautiful. So Let's go on into the video games now. Let's start with the one I overpaid for, but I bought it anyways because I've never seen it. Pulse Racer. It's like a $5 game. I might have paid seven for it. Get off my back. I want it. <laughs> it looks super dope. I've never played it, but just looking at the gameplay on the back of it, it looks like a dope racing game. We paid a dollar for this empty case, and I do. I have a copy of this. It's in a sleeve from GameStop. That's how I acquired it. Well, good. I didn't lie to the cashier then, because I told him I have the, the game at home. That's why I need the, the, the oh. case, because he was like, why do you want just an empty case? I was like, well, I have the game at home. 
It comes up. I can't tell you. Once a week, we get that recommendation. You should ask for the cases. They'll probably give them to you. You guys live in nicer places than we do because they are difficult about it here. Both of them were like a little shifty eyed about it. They were like, Shh, don't say anything. Yeah, don't tell my boss kind of thing. <laughs> yeah, so we're, now we're blasting them. But, yep. uh, um, Ghostbusters, uh, it was just cheap enough. It's a game I do already have, but we'll resell that in the toy booth. And then uh, Elder Scrolls that I don't have just to put on the shelf. And then I definitely love collecting the big cardboard box PlayStation 2 stuff. I'm getting close to like half a row of big box PlayStation 2 stuff, which Woo! is PlayStation 2 is like one of the main things I like collecting it in Wii. So yeah, I just, you know, uh, matter of fact, I've got, uh, no, it's SOCOM. I've got a big box SOCOM. <laughs> I thought it was Call of Duty, but it wasn't. Uh, a sealed copy of Daisy Fuentes Pilates. <laughs> There's no reason for that. And then we got that one for free. And I didn't check even to see if the manual's in there. It's not. It's got the other paperwork, yeah. but not the manual. Um, but beautiful. I have an Animal Crossing GameCube game without a case. No idea if it's this one, but I was going to get it either way. We'll see. Um, maybe we'll, we'll see later if uh, I do have that one. It'd be nice, but I'm not holding my breath because I know there's a couple. I think there was a couple of them. GameCube. I can't remember. I get the GameCube Animal Crossing games and the Wii ones mixed up. <laughs> Why? <laughs> Here, turn sideways. Move your arm a little bit. Stab! <laughs> <laughs> That's my find of the day. What's yours? The mug? I mean, my oh coffee God, mug? Your coffee mug! Is your find of the day? Yeah. yeah, it is. You found the best thing. You win. For like the third day in a row, Hannah is champion. But you didn't find a link sword. Yeah, that thing is dope. I had a friend in college who had the metal one. It was just mm -hmm. this exact same size and color and stuff, but it was metal. Want. And, uh, yeah, it probably wouldn't just be laying on top of the toy basket in Goodwill, though, would it? Yeah, no, that would be up in the lockbox for 20 bucks at least. You guys comment below before we go, what's your favorite thing that we brought home today? Was it the coffee mug? Probably. Was it the link sword? I don't know. Maybe, maybe you like the Pink Ranger comic book. I know I do. It's pretty. It is. I'm going to sit down and read it. I've never read a Power Ranger comic book. We have a Power Ranger comic book, though. You read that no, one? No, but I'll read it, too. You should probably read it. Guys, thanks for hanging out with us today. I hope you enjoyed today's video. We're getting close to getting that van done, which means, you know what? It means we're going to hit the road and go thrifting. Now, I don't know how and when coronavirus, et cetera, et cetera. It makes it a little bit more difficult. You know, can't go home, can't go too far, but maybe we'll do some traveling in the state of Arizona, somewhere we haven't been, I don't know. But we're gonna figure it out. As soon as that van's ready to go, we're leaving. I'm telling you, you're gonna you, you subscribe because you're gonna wanna get that little ding, turn the notifications on because like one day randomly next week, maybe the next, something like that, you're just gonna get a notification, Tinder on the road, right? So make sure you subscribe for that. It's gonna be good. Um, you know, if I just, haul ass tomorrow the next day I can finish that bed because we just need flooring now yep and then we got to put like a bed in there and then the rest just kind of the rest will come from a little thrifting because like we'll buy some shelves at the thrift or something to finish it out after that the rest is just extras extras but please do subscribe guys also before we get out here do me another big favor check out our public discord it's a place where you can come and hang out with us chat with us and other people that watch this channel it's a good time over there swear and hey if you're watching this right now when it airs, it's Saturday. It's the best day to be over on the Discord. So go join it. Also, before we go, TinnosTrash.com. Go check out our merch. Our merch is not as cool as my Applebee's shirt, but we've got some merch over there. We'd like for you to put your eyeballs on. Consider buying a T-shirt, supporting our cross-country adventure trip we're going to take. Because if you buy if you buy a Tindo shirt right now, that's what we're going to do with the money. We're going to put it in the gas tank. All right. Uh, did I miss anything? Um. I'm scared. I can't think of the pressure. I'm going to probably end up torturing you with this. All day. Just gonna, come here. <laughs> I'm going to wake up and it's going to be hovering over my head. It's just so cool. I'm going to I'm gonna be hard pressed to get rid of it. Yeah. Thanks, guys. Listen, we do post daily videos here on this channel. So come back tomorrow. Hang out with us then. But until then, peace out.